it had been snowing, but I just kind of lost control. I just remember in that moment, you know, having, trying to steer away from the guardrail, but slamming into it and hearing the sound of the car grating against it and seeing the sparks fly. I don't think I'll ever forget that image. That was really scary. When I finally went to a neurologist, it was the first week of spring semester. You know, my balance is off, my coordination is off, my memory is very off. And then, of course, I had a lot of migraines. I was very sensitive to sound, very sensitive to light. My name is Clarence Shive. I'm one of the coordinators in the Rutgers Office of Disability Services on the New Brunswick campus. Well, as someone who was diagnosed with permanent damage to both optic nerves when I was 19, I've had numerous varying experiences with the ways that others respond to my circumstances. There's a reasonableness to anticipating and responding to differences that identify and describe us as people, some of whom are presented with a diagnosed condition that society calls a disability. Not every student studies the same way. Not every student organizes his or her information in the same way. So I had gone to the Dean of Students because I was having a lot of trouble and she had sent me to Disability Services. When I had brought my letter of accommodations to the course administrator for general chemistry, um, he had kind of looked at me and he had told me if I needed extra time, I just couldn't do it. I wasn't smart enough and I shouldn't be taking his course. I should change my major and do something else. And that was, that was like a slap in the face. Well, disability, you know, it's automatically telling you that you're less able. And I don't think that's true at all. I'm not any less able than I was. I can still go and get my PhD if I want to, which I do, by the way. <laughs> this semester has been a lot of networking for us. So talking to people from different departments. If we don't admit the truth, we're going to go through angry, frustrated, and full of hardship. I was born deaf, never heard a thing, but I never missed a beat. If you can really show the employer, I'm not a problem, but I'm an asset. I'm not a disabled person, but I'm a person who happens to have a disability. And I can be an asset to your organization, your corporation, not a negative. I would like people to be aware of the things that they take for granted every day and to know that students who are differently abled or disabled aren't any less of a person than they are. They can still do all the same things, they just might have to go about it differently. And for students who are differently abled, I would like them to know that they have the ability to improve their situation. You know, they don't have to take things as the status quo. They have the ability to go out and change things the same way I started Rudesa. They can make a difference. Mm -hmm.